Hi, everybody. Hey, Rachel. Hi. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, Pooch. You guys, I'm coming to you from my kitchen. Unville, how come it says live canceled? Are you guys seeing me? Let's see. Huh. I don't know. Do you see that where she, she writes live canceled? I see it. Yeah. What is that all about? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, she's, they see us now. See it? Oh, okay. All right, Emville. Thank you. Let's hope we're not going to have any problems with YouTube like we did yesterday. You guys, I'm coming to you from my kitchen because we are building the new studio in the garage and it's not done yet. And I've been, hi, Emville. Thanks. And I've been putting off, putting off a million excuses to post on eBay. So I said, you know what? I'm going to set myself up today and called Rachel and I said, hey, you want to co-host with me? So she can read the chat and I'm going to show you how I do things. I'm not saying that the way I do it. Hey, Rise Up, thanks for coming in. Um, I'm not going to tell you the way I do things is the right way to do it. I'm just going to show you how I've been doing it for years and what works for me. Hey, James Cisco here. Hello, but listening. So is listening. Okay. Awesome. James. Thank you. The old man picks. Hey, hello, Ginger Ann, Dawn, two hip chicks. Hello, Nance P, Pammy. Thank you everyone for coming in. Um, I expect to be on about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I'm going to try to get about 15 listings up from start to finish. Hey, Tony. Betty Webb, so nice to meet you. Hello, <laughs> thanks for coming in. She's so funny. Gail, hello. Good afternoon. Thanks, you guys. Coming to you from my kitchen. I'm going to be listing in my kitchen. So I want to show you. So these boards right here, these are dry erase boards. Um, and that's what I use for my whiteboards. Um, you can get them at Home Depot. I think they're like 17 or so dollars each. Um, you know, they, they get a little bit dinged up, so you have to replace them every so often. But for me, they, they, they give a really beautiful white background. So that's what I use for my items that, um, no, Wes, it's not an <laughs> auction. <laughs> and Dawn, hello, Dawn. And Mary, if you're in the background, hello, guys. Um, Junebug, hello, sweetheart. Thanks for coming in. Am I really loud? Because this kitchen is really loud because it's like big and open space. Do I sound like I'm screaming? No. No, I'm good? Okay. I'm good. Okay. So um, while we're waiting for people to come in, I'm going to give you like one of my little tips that I have that I use when I'm posting um, or listing, which I haven't listed on eBay in forever, but this is what I used to have. Um, <clears throat> it's a little loud. Is it Turn right? it down, Wes. <laughs> Try to talk quietly. I'm Italian. I'm Italian. So how did you drive the Vikings out of the kitchen? They're going to be yeah. in a second. Which is, right. It's 2.09. I'm sure that, that both of them are going to be down here. And, oh, we got some terrific news this morning. Um, Angelina has been accepted uh, accepted to Eckerd, which oh. is a, uh, it's a, it's a liberal arts college in um, – um, on the west coast of Florida, it's on the water, and they have a great volleyball program. And they are—they didn't give her a full ride, but they gave her eighty percent. Nice. So yeah, so we're gonna try to get some scholarships and yep. um, try to you know just work harder and raise the money. But she's really excited about it, and we're. Um, yeah, 80%. She came That's down nice. here this morning. She And you guys, just so that you know, she did this all herself. No no involvement from my husband and I. She researched okay. it. She she did it all. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah she's, you. she's an amazing child. 80% is pretty darn good, right? Yeah. right? Considering everything now. I know. Yeah, it's, really is limited. it's really great. Thanks yeah. for doing this. I'm very shy about starting. Congratulations on your daughter. Thanks, Ed. Yeah, this will show you the kind of basics. So while we're waiting people to roll in, I want to show you um, something that I think is very important if you are listing like sports jerseys or um, plus size clothes or even like men's suits sometimes. Um, so this is an average um, like 
coat hanger. You see, we call it a coat hanger because it's much thicker. Um, it doesn't have the, um, the little pieces, you know, for hanging. So this is like a, it's already, it's already super sized. It's already big. And I have some of these. If anybody's interested in getting one of these, just reach out to me. Okay. So this June is, says you have the same cabinets as her. Who does? June. June. <laughs> ah! That's awesome. Okay. So this is a regular hanger. Okay. You can see it's a regular hanger. So what I did is I broke off the two pieces. Okay. And this makes your listing to me a lot easier. So what I do is I will put them on as extenders to the, um, to the hanger that I have. So you just take some tape. Patty okay. says hi and he can't stay long. Hey Patties, thanks for coming in. So you take tape and what you're doing is, see what you're doing? You're making it longer. You're making the hanger longer for your plus size clothes. Like I said, jerseys. Um, and this, it does, it helps a lot. And I do have a jersey that I'm going to be listing. So I'm going to be using this. Great um, idea. Yeah, so just get it on there nice and secure. And like I said, it's it's really great for plus size clothing if you're, if you're listing plus size clothing. I mean, you could use a black tape, you know, so that you don't see it in case you're you're using you're going to be using it to do something like a woman's sheer top or something like that. You know, if you could use um, like electrical tape and you know, make it. Yep. I have like 10 of these made. Yeah. See, James Cisco knows he's an eBayer. Um, okay. So there's your hanger now. Nice and super sized, nice and big. Okay. So we'll put that aside. We'll be using that in a few minutes. So, um, so what I thought I would do is I picked out some things I'm going to show you how to list things through barcode and um, how to look them up on eBay and how I do my listings from start to finish. Now, I don't create drafts. I've never created drafts. I always, I use my phone and I do them pictures start to finish. So um, my phone is actually plugged in. So I got to go get it because I wanted to make sure it was completely charged. So Rachel, just uh, tell them to yeah. talk amongst themselves. Well, Edward, Edward wants to introduce the doggy. This is Bo. Bo is a 10-year-old chubby little chihuahua. He was my mom's doggy. And he's a love bug. Say hi, Bo Bear. Say hi, little friends. Hi. Oh, June, I was supposed to be on the one-off. So that's been rescheduled. And then I'm on T's channel again on the 19th. Yeah. Oh, did they see Boston walk by? Is that why he's yep. the oh, asking you about yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So we're going to get right into this. Rachel's going to read the chat for me. I'm serious about like getting this done, getting it done fast. Cause I'm going to be a guest on T's auction tonight. So I do have to prepare for that and I might do a little bit of shipping. I'm not sure. So you want to get your YouTube app. Okay, let's start with the absolute basics. You want to get your YouTube app, um, okay. eBay app, your eBay app on your phone. Okay, so you want to download your eBay app. Um, we're going to start with this. We're going to start with this Cinderella doll. Okay, it's a Walt Disney Cinderella. Now this has a barcode. So I'm gonna put me on full screen. There you go, you sit in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey Jackie, hello. Thank you for coming in everyone, I really appreciate it. Okay, so I wanna show you how simple it is. So here's your Cinderella. Now on your phone, you see that little camera? Right there, all you wanna do is click on the camera. And this is what's going to come up. Hover over code with camera, avoid glare and shadows. So all you want to do 
is, where am I? Right there, is hover over it. It will pick it up and there it is. There's your dolls. So now people can list dolls. Whoops, let me just find my camera. People can list dolls for you know anything they want. There's some listed for 15, 95, 19, 14, 25, 26. Some of them are, look at $35.10 shipping. Crazy, right? This one's right. $44 shipping. So there's, you know, there's a huge, but who cares? Who cares about what those are listed for right now? Because it's really important to filter and look to see what things sold for. So you want to go right there where it says filter and you want to push on filter and then you want to click on you want to click on see more see more and see where it says sold items and completed items those are the two that you want to select sold items and completed items because those are items that have been sold, paid for, and delivered. So it's showing me that there's 14 results. So you want to click on results. And here's your sold items for this doll. So this person sold one for $7.775 shipping. This one sold it for 95 cents. Could have been, um, it could have been, um, an auction item and nobody bid on it. So um, wow. this one sold it for eight. Here's one Mattel holiday princess. That's the one I have $30 free shipping. That's what I do. I do free shipping. This person got it for $30. They bought it for $30. So all you have to do is click on that. Sorry, you missed out on this item, but see where it says sell one like this. All you want to do is click on sell one like this. Now, don't ever copy someone's title. Um, it's their title. They wrote it. Chances are they probably copied it from someone else. But when an item is sold, most people don't go back and see if someone's copied their title. And if their title is pretty gener generic, like this one here, it says Mattel Holiday Princess Special Edition Walt Disney Cinderella Barbie Doll. How else do you describe it? Um, sometimes what I'll do is I will take, um, let me show you. I will take Barbie doll and I will cut it off the back end and I will paste it to the front end, because think about it. If you're looking for a Barbie doll, right? Are you gonna say Mattel um, holiday princess? No, you're gonna say Barbie doll, Mattel holiday princess. Like you always wanna think about if you were searching for something, like when I, when I search for something, like that's how I wanna do my listing, like how I would be looking for it on, on eBay. Like I would say, okay, I'm looking for a Barbie doll. So I'm going to, I'm going to say Barbie doll. So I've changed the title. Okay. I don't do anything with the subtitle options. Okay. So you want to press done. Okay. Your title is done complete. Now you want to go to the item specifics. The item specifics are um, pretty much filled in for you because we copied the listing. New Mattel, Disney, the Barbie, the 1996. We know it's 96 because it's identical to the one that I'm listing. You always want to make sure the category. The category, it's listed in Disney, dolls, bears, Barbie, contemporary, 1973 to now, dolls, Barbie. That's the category that they placed their ad in because, because you're copying their listing, everything that they did, which was the right thing to do because he got $30 for this Barbie and other people only got very little. Ooh, that was a message from Eckert for the scholarship. Okay. Now the description. So the description is basically what the title is and how it's 
going to be shipped. But I'm going to tell you what I do. What I do is, and I keep it. Hi, in, Leon. I keep it in. Hi, Leon. I keep this in. I send it to myself. Um, hold on one second. Let me show you what I got here. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. This is what I write in my description. It's generic for all my listings. I don't put measurements in my description. Some people spend a lot of time putting measurements. Um, I don't do any of that. I take all the photos and I put them all in photos. So this is my generic description. Hi, thank you for stopping by my eBay store. Please look at all the pictures and sizes for measurements. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us. Thank you again. We always strive for positive feedback. Have a great day. So I keep that in my phone. I keep it. I send that to myself, to my messages. That's like in my phone. And all I do is I copy it. Hi, Love Hollis. Says hi, Donna. Who says hi? Love Hollis. Oh, hey, love. So I copy it. Now it's copied, right? It's in my finger, right? We have that in our finger. I copy it. I go back to my eBay store. And where I'm at description, you want to click on that little pencil. You see this little pencil right here or pen? That's my description. So put a space in, hit a return, go to the top. Select paste, and there it is. And there it is. Hi, thank you for stopping by my eBay store, blah, blah, blah. And then it gives the description. To me, that's basically all you need. I mean, some people, they do, they write a book. They write a book. I think it's a waste of time. That's just my opinion. This is all you need. You just need a nice little friendly note to someone. Try to be personable. Tell them that you strive for positive feedback. You'll do whatever it takes. And so that's it. That's your description. Now you're done. So now you're pricing. You're pricing. Seven-day auction, your delivery. Okay, let's do our pricing. We're going to click on the little pencil again. And I am not going to do this as an auction. I'm going to do it as a buy it now. So buy it now is clicked. The trending price is $19.30. So they don't tell you whether that's $19.30 with, with free shipping. Mine's going to be free shipping. So hello, Jonathan. You go, hey, Jonathan, thanks for joining. So now you're going to highlight the price, and I'm going to put in. $30. That's what I do. That's what now offers. If you want to accept offers, mm -hmm. I'm going to do free shipping so that people can see that I allow offers. I'm going to do so that people will try to put offers in. I'm going to accept an offer for $28 or more just so that the offer option comes up on the title. It will say $30 or best offer and they'll click on it. Um, I don't want to go much less than that because I'm paying for shipping. So that's done. I never turn on my easy pricing. The easy pricing is always off. Okay, you've got your offers. The quantity is one. Schedule time is off because I will list it the minute. So done. So that part is done. Now, we're at the shipping. Ship in the U.S., Three pounds, 13 ounces, priority mail. That part really doesn't make a difference because I offer free shipping. So it doesn't ma matter if I'm putting 10 pounds or if I'm putting three pounds because I'm paying for shipping. So you want to go to where it says buyer pays and you want to click on buyer pays and you see where it says free for buyer, you pay shipping. You want to click on that. And now you'll see it free for buyer, you pay shipping. I always ship internationally. So when you ship internationally, your packages, you only pay for the packages to go to Kentucky. 
eBay has a customs uh, location in Kentucky. They will open the package in Kentucky and they will look to see what the item is and they will repackage it up and they ship it out internationally and the person on the other end gets charged the international shipping. You only get charged to ship it to Kentucky, which is really great. The other thing about international shipping is, is almost 100% guaranteed if anything, anything goes wrong with that package, I have found that they stand behind it 100%. So I have always, um, Donna, leave it up, please. The video. I've got things to do. Leave what up? The stream? The video, I think. Oh, I never take them down, love. Yeah. I never take them down. I, um, that's a great thing that you just said about the international shipping because I had no idea how that worked at all. Yeah, it's so easy. You are opening your so yourself up to the worldwide market by doing international shipping. Always do international shipping. Okay, so you can even choose the local pickup op option if you want. I don't. Okay, so this part of it is done. So we've done the delivery. We've done payment. Now here it says handling time, three days. I give myself a three day handling time. I used to give myself a one day handling time to be a top rated seller. eBay right now to me is a like secondary income. Um, my auctions and my buy it nows are my primary income. So for right now to relieve a little bit of stress on me, because I, to me, it's more important to get your stuff out, people that bought for me at auction than the eBay orders. So I just leave it for three days. But if you want to be a top rated seller, which I was for many years, you should do the one day. But for me, I'm just leaving it three day. Okay. <clears throat> Immediate pay. See where it says no. So you want to click on that little pencil and you want to requires immediate pay. So when you're selling things that are not auction items and they're just listed as a buy it now, always select immediate pay. Um, you want the people to pay immediately um, so that you can ship it out. Okay. Return policy. Returns accepted. I accept returns and I pay for the items to come back. That's just the way I am. Um, if someone has a problem with an item and they don't want it, I pay for it to come back. Um, a lot of people don't do that. They'll do a, a returns accepted, but buyer pays. I pay. Um, I've always done it that way and I had a very successful store. So that's personal preference. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Okay, so that part is complete. We are done. We're done. We're done with that. Okay, now we are going to go to the photos. And if you have taken photos prior to doing all of that, and once you get it, like it's taken me longer to explain it. Like I'll show you one now that I've showed you this. I'll list another one and I'll show you how quick it is. And then I'll go through it again for the, for, for those of you that want to um, see it again, or for those of you that have come in um, a little bit later. Okay. So I'm going to take the pictures. So mine is, like there's coffee on my phone. So this is the screen that comes up. Okay. So where's that Barbie? So we missed Susan Chronicles. Hi, Susan. What's up? Susan's Chronicles, we missed her. She said hello, everyone. Very informative for Donna. Oh, thank you thank for you sharing. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to, so I have a lot of glare because this whole side of my kitchen is all windows. So you've got to position it where you're not going to have a lot of glare. So let me just position it a little bit. Invisible bitter. Well, invisible bitter. So you just try this time of day in the kitchen is really tough because it has so much glare. So I, so a lot of people, I can show you if we go back to the listings, most people took a picture of the whole box, right? Yep. That's almost every single one. Think outside the box. 
think of something different. Think of something uh, exciting that's going to make people want to click on your picture. So like, for example, this is my feature picture. That's going to be my thumbnail. So when people are looking for this Barbie, they're going to see 15 of them of just boxes, and then they're going to see mine. And who wouldn't want to look at that instead of a box from a distance, right? Don't you agree? So, um, okay, so that was picture number one. Now, picture number two, there is glare. Here's my picture number two. There is glare. I can't do anything about it because of the location. So you take a picture of that. Then I try to use, whoops, um, here. I try to use all my pictures. Then I take a picture of that. I show them, oops, that one came out blurry. Let me retake it. I show them that it says there's a holiday ornament for you in the box, which is another nice feature to show them. I take a picture of the back of the box. I take a picture of the top of the box to show them that it's in excellent condition. Hi, Robin. Donna calls me and says, what are you doing? I go, I've been listing all morning. <laughs> I take a, a picture of the consumer information and specifics. Hey, Flippin' Flamingos 2. Is that Joe? Yeah, that's Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> I take a picture of the little saying that's on the box. I look around to see if there's anything else that I can take pictures of. If I can't find anything else, then I'll take another picture of her. I'll take another picture of the box. <clears throat> just, just take pictures, you guys. You want to fill up your pictures. It could be rumor, but they say, so I'm at 11 out of 12 pictures. And my final picture, um, I think, will be her again. So you recommend taking 12 pictures? Making sure it's pictures. Good? Yep. No, one or two. no, you should always use all the spots. Let them load. Good to know. Deborah says, Donna's a pro. Oh, I've been doing this for a long time, Deborah. So I wanted to share with you, like I said, this is not the way everybody does it. Everybody does it their own way, but this is my way of doing it. And this is my the easiest way for me. Okay, all my pictures have loaded. You hit done. And so I'm not the number one thing that you want to work on when you decide to start listing on eBay is doing an inventory system. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna list some clothes now and I will inventory them. Stuff like this here. Um I have huge shelves and I just place them on the shelves. I don't put an inventory number on it because I don't need to put an inventory number on it. When I had 4,000 plus items on eBay, everything got an inventory number because everything was in bins. Um, but I, I don't expect to get, I'm going to probably keep my items. I don't want to be in the hoarding of inventory business. So Frugal, Frugal City wants eBay to do more than 12. And Cherie says, thank you so much, Donna, for showing us. Oh, thanks, Cherie. Yeah. Okay, so there we have it. There's the your photos. photos. I wouldn't and have thought that you needed all those photos, but it makes sense now. Yeah. 
Your photos make the listing stand out. Yes. So that's my thumbnail photo. There you have it. There's all my photos, my specifics. You scroll down to the bottom and you list your item. So sometimes when I get there, it tells me, even though I do free shipping, it tells me I have to go back and choose a weight for my box. You have to, you have to put something in. So I just put one pound or less and it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you do free shipping, it doesn't matter what you put. And then it asks you again, turn on easy pricing. Easy pricing is eBay will automatically reduce your item if it doesn't sell. Um, they will automatically relist your item and they will reduce it. I don't want them to reduce it. So yeah. I never turn on my easy pricing. And then so I select maybe next time. And here you have it. Success. Sell it faster. Tap on your social network. You can share it with your social network people if you want. You press done. And that's it. First mm -hmm. step up. Pictures, description, and all. Okay. Let's do another one. I learned a few things. <laughs> the next one I'm going to do are these pantyhose. Go okay. Ahead. And this is going to be another easy one. So for those of you that want to start getting listing, like start listing on go, you can walk around the house and as long as it has a barcode on it, it's easy. It's easy peasy. Like all you have to do. Okay. So here we are search, <laughs> click on the camera. There's your barcode. Where am I? There's your barcode. You just want to scan it. What do you have barcode that doesn't scan for whatever the reason mm -hmm. is? Then you have to either speak it or type it in. Okay. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for size CD jet, um, thigh highs, sandal foot, uh, suggested retail 595 silk reflections brand new unopened so there's um there's 23 results wow. that are listed as active so we're going to filter it you can see right there again sold item you want sold and completed because how do you list on youtube how <laughs> do you list on to youtube is he being funny i don't yeah. know I think so, because he's got a smiley face afterwards. Okay, so um, so now it shows six results, right? So let's click on six results, and huh? So I didn't know that this item is. Let's see, vintage silk yeah. reflections, jet sheer thigh high sandal foot nylon CD, brand new. Um, mine is jet thigh high sheer. Uh, CD. So there, there you have it. And I have a questions. Huh? Cherie is asking, how do you uh, do billing when you get a chance? And then uh, June asked if you, once it sells, do, does it automatically take it down or do you need to yes. take it down? Yes. It automatically, automatically takes it down. And Cherie, you do not have to do any billing. eBay will send you a notification, your item sold. It will show you print shipping label. And that's another tutorial that I can show you because if you have pirate ship, pirate ship does bulk shipping. Um, it's, it's, um, cubic rate shipping and you get a lot, you, you save like on something like this, you might save like 50 or 60 cents using pirate ship. Um, then using eBay, eBay does offer discounts for good sellers. Um, but sometimes it's cheaper. And to me, like every 50, 60 cents, when you're sending out 30, 40 items, it adds up, right? I've saved $20 on one package on Pirate Ship. Yeah, Pirate Ship is awesome. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. So there you have it. There's the item. So we're going to click on that. And what are we going to do next? We're going to sell one like it, right? We're going to sell one like it. And there it is. I don't need to change anything. It's new with tags. I don't need to change the specifics. Um, the pricing, they're recommending a seven day auction. I'm not doing an auction. I am going to do um, a buy it now. And they're suggesting that I do a buy it now for $9.60. Huh. All right, that's fine. 
Um, they're recommending that I do my, see online trending price is $9.60. They're recommending that I take offers $3 or higher. I'm going to take offers um, $8. Uh-oh, the Vikings are free. <laughs> Hear them? Yes. Okay. I'm going to take offers for $8 or higher. Quantity one. Schedule start is off because guess what? We're going to do it right now. The shipping. It says here, buy or pay shipping. We're going to change that. And we're going to select free to buyer. It's free to buyer. Ships internationally. Tony, that has happened to me a couple of times where you take a barcode picture and it comes up something completely crazy out of the whatever. It happens. It happens. Sometimes yeah. when there's a sticker over it. Okay. So let's look it over. Um, the price, $9.60, $8 or higher. It's three ounces. It ships internationally. Um, immediate pay. See? Got to go back, turn on immediate pay. There you have it. That's done. And the best part with this is there is no measuring. Take your camera, picture. So what's nice about this is it's new old stock. So anybody who is looking for this and they can't find them in the stores anymore, they're going to buy this because they've been wearing these pantyhose for a really long time and they don't want to change. They don't want to change what they're, what they're wearing. So right now I'm just taking as many pictures as I can just to load it up. Okay. There you have it. I took 12 out of 12. You press yeah, done. But you can also just take a picture of the item on eBay. That's true. I haven't had much luck with that, though. This is um, the new background removed option. Some people use it. I don't use it. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's just my husband just came in the house and dropped something. It's fine. So here it is. It's listing. It's loading. It's loading. We're done. Do you prefer to use the whiteboard because it has a little shine to it nope. versus the poster board? I just use it because it's just easy for me to maneuver with it and set it up. Okay, so that's it, folks. We've got another listing done, and we are... Hi, Virginia. Virginia says hi, Donna and Rachel. Hello, honey. Okay, list your item. That was fast, Donna. I'm not turning off items. Success. You are done. Boom. All right. Leon's going. He says he'll see you all later. Okay, Leon. Lots of, lots of kisses. Okay. Should we do one more with the barcode? Let's see how fast we can list this. Yeah, just go fast and see how fast it is. Okay. Here's the barcode. Boom. There it is. It's a Muppet movie. I've looked at it. It's open, but it doesn't have any scratches. We're going to go to sold items, 72 results, 72 results. So now this is the one that it is. It's the one with Miss Piggy and Fozzie and Kermit. And here it is. It sold for 99 cents and four dollars and twenty cents shipping. So I'm gonna select that one, 99 cents. And the reason why I'm gonna select that one, and some people would look at this and be like, I'm not wasting my time. 99 cents. That's like such a waste of time, like it's not even worth it. To the contrary. It is so worth it. It is more worth it than listing a $300 pair of pants, which is what I'm going to be doing in a moment. And the reason why that is, is because it brings traffic to your store.
Mm. People will spend the 99 cents on it and they'll go in and they'll see what other things there are. And guess what? That person that spent 99 cents on that DVD might want those $300 pair of pants or that Barbie. So it's very, it's very important to have 99 cent items or dollar 99 items because when people buy your 99 cent items, number one, you're going to get positive feedback. God willing, if it arrives in one piece, right? You're going to get positive feedback and eBay is going to look at your store and they're going to see that the algorithm is going to see you're selling stuff. Like people are coming to your store and they're right. buying it. They don't care if people are buying 99 cent stuff or $1,000 stuff. They just want to see people buying. They want to see it and they put you in that algorithm. We they got put you questions going down the list here. Mama G wants to know if you would do a plush lot that way instead of auctioning it or ordering it from you could you do plush lots that way oh yeah i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a tigger in a minute and then uh jonathan alfaro says donna what are the pros and cons of using your phone versus a computer to list on ebay and do you use your phone exclusively jonathan i use my phone exclusively i always have from day one i've never created drafts i've never used the computer i can buzz through like if i wasn't doing a tutorial like this once i'm all set up the way i'm set up i can buzz through and i can get like 20 25 it's if, if i have barcodes on everything man i can do like 50 of them in an hour i'm like a machine because i've been doing it for so long with the phone it's just to me it's just easier you take the pictures you do the description you it's just quick 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 that's me other people and that's what June's saying. June uh, says, I know you're doing this to show us, but really on average, how long would it take you to list one item? I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that because uh, I'm going to do an item and I'm not going to talk to you. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it. And a couple of items that I'm going to be doing next, I'm going to try not to talk to you. <laughs> Can you imagine me not talking? <laughs> but I'm going to try. <laughs> Okay, so we're back to the DVD. All right, 99 cents. Sell one like this. It's loading. Ah, look at that. Boom. It gives you the it gives you the actual picture of the CD of the DVD. Wow. DVDs and movies, a lot of the times, and sometimes records, they will provide the picture for you. But guess what? I don't use it. Um, I don't always use it. Sometimes I do. Um, I like to put my actual, my actual picture. Okay, it's not an auction. So trending price for starting is two dollars and forty cents. I'm gonna leave it at the trending price, even though that one sold for ninety nine cents. eBay says the trending price for this is ninety nine is um, um two forty. Uh, yeah, two dollars and forty cents. Offers? No, I'm not gonna accept any offers. Not at that price. And um, ship internationally, yes. And this one here, I'm gonna do buyer pays, okay? Uh -huh. I'm gonna do buyer pays and it's gonna go out because the price is so low. You know, you really have to treat each case individually. Where's my media, hold on. Because it's a movie. It can go, let's see, priority, priority, mail express. You know what? The heck with it. Let's do this. Let's do this instead. Let's go back and do um, – let's go back to – where's my price here? Let's go back and do the price for $5. Kitty said hi. Boston saying hi. What's Everybody, up? I said your kitty said hi. Boston saying hi. I know, right? Okay. Yay. I did it for five dollars and then I'm gonna do free for buyer. Free for buyer, see? So it's five dollars free for buyer. 
Just to, to, us, know, to know if you erase the photos from your phone or save them to the cloud. No, I erase them. Okay, and now. Now we're gonna add photos. And here we have it. So. Most of the ones that are on there are, so I'm going to take, can you see me? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to take an up close. I'm going to take an up close and then I'm going to take up close to Kermit because I love him. Okay, and then I'm gonna go bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna show them that it has the book. I'm gonna take the CD out and take a picture of the CD to show that there's no scratches on it. Put this back in here. I'm going to take more and more. Use up all of those. That's it. That's fast. Done. Once you list it, do you erase the photos? Yes. Mama G, thanks for the thumbs up. No, I did not say it was an auction. I'm going to be on Tease later on, Tease channel. <laughs> Can you please answer the message? Well, it's a kind of a long question. She has a question up there about some stuff she has and how you would sell it, go about selling it. Okay, hold on a second. Guys. Let me answer uh, frugalicity. Frugalicity, this is what I do in the description. I In the description, it just says, the Muppet Christmas Carol DVD special edition condition is like new shipped United States Postal Service. Those are my keywords. What my title is gets imported into my description. And then what I add to it, and I showed this before, which I have saved in my finger from my messages is I add, hi, thank you for, uh, Stopping by my eBay store, please look at pictures for sizes, measurements. I just use a very generic um, description, just thanking them for stopping in. I don't put I don't put any kind of measurements or anything in my description. That's it. That's all, that's all I do. Um, let's see. Offers no worldwide shipping. Immediate pay, yes. And there we have it. List your item. Boom. Turn off maybe next time. Success. I've listed another item. Okay. Cherie's got a long question here. Okay, go ahead. Um, she I think it says she has a Pilates chair with an arm attachment and DVDs and a wall chart, not in a box, was $398. How would you go about selling it? Is it big? Too big to ship? That's what I mean. I think it's, is it three different items or they want it all for all three items at the same time? Because DVDs can go media mail. I don't know if, um, what if um, the Pilates chair, how big is it? Yeah. The Pilates chair, I would do it local pickup only. That's what I would do. Local pickup only. Okay. So let's do Tigger. Tigger, Walt Disney. No, don't forget you guys, you have this you have this feature on your phone, the microphone. So instead of typing it out, if you don't want to, Tigger Backpack Walt Disney. She says it's all a set. Well, the DVDs can go media mail. You might have to ship them separately. <clears throat> Picked up what you were saying. So there you go. Tigger Backpack Walt Disney. Search. 
And so there it is. It's listed for $23 and 90 cents. I don't care about that because they can list it for whatever they want. When people say, Oh, it's listed for $25 on eBay. I don't care. I want to know what it's sold for. Boston. Sorry, there's a delivery company and I can hear either PS or Federal Express. Okay. When I do sold, I get I show four results. Let's see what the results are. All right. So here we have um let's see. Let me show you what we have. We have ten dollars with eight dollars and forty cents shipping. We have this one came from the United Kingdom. You don't want to copy that one. That's a United Kingdom, United Kingdom. Wow, there's a lot in the United Kingdom. Look at this. United Kingdom, United Kingdom. Okay, so here's the ones that are in the U.S. So let's look at this one. This one here looks different. Yeah, this one is kind of like the furry, the, uh, the curly, the curly one. Mm -hmm. This one's more of like a plush. You can see that's like, it's kind of like a shimmering one, but that's okay. That's all right. We're still going to choose that one, and we're going to sell one like this. And so all of my, all of my, um, my flesh. <laughs> I always feature them. I'll show you one second. I love posting my pictures like he's peeking into the camera instead of the whole thing. Like everybody else had the whole thing, the whole plush. My feature photo is going to stand out because look at how cute. People are going to be like, oh, because it's an up-close picture. Um, Winnie the Pooh is huge in the UK, is it, Shelly? <laughs> so there we have it. And now I'm going to take my pictures of him front and back. This one in particular, I don't know if you guys can see me working on my bench here, um, is going to require my measuring tape, which where did I do with it? I thought I just had it hanging here. I thought I had everything all set to roll. Hold on one second. I think Boston's looking for something. <laughs> He's it's my husband's working in the yard and um, he keeps coming back and forth. So you want to lay your measuring tape from the tippity nose. And you want to take a picture of that so people know. And I'll show you the pictures that I'm taking in one second. 710 Donna leaving lessons on eBay. So welcome to the chat. I'm trying to take as many cute pictures as you can of it so that yours sticks out from all the rest. Even if you take in repeated pictures, who cares? Okay. Is that an actual bench? Nikki D wants to know. This is two pieces of um, dry erase board and it's on top of a sawhorse. I don't have room for that. <laughs> with my pictures with the um, tape measures. Can you please answer prior message as soon as you're able? Did we? You did. It? Okay. Yeah, all right, so there's, there's all your pictures. I take a measurement going across. I take a measurement from top to bottom. I take a measurement of the back. I even took a measurement of the tag because it's frayed. See? That might make a difference. 
um, to people that the tag is frayed. Um, the description, Tiger Backpack, Walt Disney World, Soft Tote, Book Bag, 20 Inches, Winnie the Pooh. That is it. You want to add your description, which I have saved in my finger. Remember? Add your description. Done. You want to add a price. I don't want to do it as an auction. I want to do it as a buy it now. The trending price for it is $10. I'm fine with that because this is going to be another like Costco chicken. Do you know what I mean by Costco chicken? You know what I mean by that? No. What do you, what do you mean? So Costco has roasted chickens that they sell for $5 each. Mm. And they take a loss on that chicken every year. They take a loss on it because they know that people are not going to go to Costco and just, just buy, buy the chicken. Buy they draw them in. Mm -hmm. So this is my Costco chicken. I'm putting it on for $10 and I'm going to do free shipping. Um, hopefully someone internationally will buy it. Um, it's going to be says they even have Pooh Bear on their coins. Okay. Shipping international, free shipping, immediate pay is yes. And we got, just go over it really quick. We've got the pictures. We've got the description. We've got the category. Um, we've got the extended description. We have the buy it now price. We have no offers on it. We have free to buyer is the shipping and let's right, show you know, the, the circle there where it says how many categories do you have? It was only half full. Um, okay. We we'll have to have it like full, full in order to get people's attention. I don't think so. Okay. Um, okay. So um, again, I'm not planning on listing a lot on eBay. So all of like the stuffed animals and the hard goods, they're all going to go in like two or three bins because um, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want a lot of inventory. I'd rather sell it than, um, you know, do long tail stuff. Okay. This is what we're doing next. Susie says she has problems with uh, makeup, what to put together or sell it separately. You should email me because I was a makeup artist for like 20 years and I'll tell you <laughs> what sells. <laughs> I'm only selling three pairs. I'm only listing three pairs of these pants on, on the eBay. The rest of the I've gotten some offers and I'm selling them off um, in bulk. Um, so if anybody is interested in um, getting in on that deal, I think I have 20, 26 pairs left. Um, oh, they're nice. And I don't know how many shirts. Are they all the same size? No, all different. Wow. Okay. So let's look it up. Those are going to be my Amanda Adams jeans. Mm -hmm. Nice. I love using um, the stainless steel refrigerator for my photos, and I'll show you why. And in my studio, I'm actually buying a sheet of stainless steel and mounting it on the wall, even though they recommend... Um, yes, I talked to Andrea Baker, even though they recommend white backgrounds, I love the stainless steel and you're going to see why in a minute. Okay. So these are Amanda Adams. So there's here in the listings, $174, dollars 75 dollars um, $184, $125, $219. Okay. I don't care what they're selling them for. Um, let's go and look what they sold for. Filter and sold. We have 32 results. Let's check it out. Okay. So this pair, they took a best offer of 189. This pair, they took a best offer of 100. This pair sold for $75 plus shipping. Um, this pair sold for 104 and I don't see any that are like this. No. 
Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just randomly choose one that sold for a lot of money. And I'm going to choose this one here. <laughs> Fern Darling. What's Fern saying? She said, what does description saved in my finger mean? I just came in. <laughs> I guess when you press it and you say, remember, I copied it and it's in my finger. I'll show you, Fern. I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> okay. So this is this is the one that I'm going to copy. Nice. Okay. These sold for $189.89. So I'm going to sell one like this. And check the size. These are size 14, which is why they probably sold for so much money. Um, these are size 29. These are size 29. Okay. So you do want to put size 29 in the title. Amanda Adams Couture boot cut jeans, a silver beaded. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of silver beaded. I'm going to keep the word jeans, embroidered Western wear, and I'm going to uh, add um, wedding. Mm. I'm going to add wedding yeah. to mine. So anybody that's looking for like a wedding, like change out of your wedding gown kind of outfit. I mean, how fun would those be to wear during your reception when the bride changes out of her wedding gown, right? So yep. I'll put the word wedding into my description in hopes that somebody that's looking for a really cool outfit will find that. Okay, so size 29. Now you have to make sure you go into the description because you copied someone's listing. You see the size? You want to make sure that you go in there and you select extra, enter a value, and you want to write in size 29 in the value. Okay. So now you have... New with tags, Amanda Adams, regular, size 29, color blue because they're blue jeans. And press done. Everything else is there. It's recommending an auction. We're going to do a buy it now. The recommended price is $189. That's the trending price on them. So that's for one pair. Yeah. Guys, Amazing. Amazing. I have sold for two and three hundred dollars, like six, twelve pairs. So there's really good money to be made on these. They might be a little bit of a long tail, so you might have to wait. Um, I am gonna allow offers, and I'm gonna allow offers that are one seventy five or higher. Okay, there's my offers, one seventy five or higher. And that's done. Okay. And now we're going to take the pictures. Look at how awesome. Huh. Isn't that great? Yeah. Okay. So that's the first one. Second. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay, so here's another trick. If you're trying, sometimes you have a curly, a curly label that you're trying, like sometimes the vintage clothes, they curl up and you can't take a picture of the label. Get yourself a little piece of tape. Put the tape there. That's gonna hold it down. Can you see it from there, you guys? Can you see what I just did? Yeah. Okay. 
Don't go out of the yard, Boston. Go, go, come on, go, 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 go. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna spin it around. Hi, Joyce. And we're gonna take a picture of the back and the bottom. And then lastly, sometimes I do a flat lay. And sometimes what I do is I just take, take my tape measure and I have a little piece of sticky tape that I put on it. And I put it right up to the crotch on one side. And you can reuse this tape, you know, a couple of times. And that prevents you from having to do a flat lay. And it gives you the measurements. And then you can do the same here. Um, rise, rise Up is asking about the sizing. I think uh, a 29 is technically like a zero. That's like a European 29 and 14 is a, a USA 14. Yeah, I don't know what it is and they'll have to research it. If they want them bad enough, they'll have to research it. Yeah, I think 29 is the measurement of the waist. Yeah, 29 is the measurement of the waist. And that's, yeah. And that's way smaller than a 14. <laughs> and I know that because I wear a 14. <laughs> okay, so it's 12 out of 12. It's 12 out of 12. Done. Let's load them up. That was fast and it's very pretty. You don't have to worry about flat lays. You don't have to worry about shadow boxes, you know, white boxes, nothing. Here, I'm just going to go up there. Now way larger, okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> what, what was that? Well, because I said, I know that uh, 29 is like a zero because I wear a 14 and, and Invisible Better said size 14, way larger. <laughs> yeah, I think 29 is like a size six or something. No, it's a zero, I'm sure. Okay, like there, zero. there's all my pictures. You can see how beautiful they are. They're beautiful. Right? Look at how pretty. They're absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna list it. Let's go over it. Size 29, Amanda Adams, couture, boot, cut, jeans, embroidered, Western wear, wedding, size 29, new with tags, size 29 again. Jeans description is in there. $189 is the price. I will accept a best offer. Um, ah, see? Buy or pay shipping? No. I pay shipping. Free to buyer. Always free to buyer. That's me. Free to buyer. PayPal, immediate pay. You want to go in, put that on immediate pay, immediate pay required. Everything checks out. The one thing I didn't do, I gotta go back, hold on, is I didn't put, um, let's see, selling. Let me just go back and pull it back up one second so I can show you. Oh, maybe it saved it in my drops. Hold on. Did I push the button? Hold on, folks. Give me one second so I can show you what I do. Oh, okay. It must be in my drops. Let's see. Um, selling. Yeah. So if you think you lost something, you see how it's in my drafts? Because mm -hmm. I forgot to put my inventory number in. So I had to go back and find it and I couldn't find it. So 
I because I clicked a couple of buttons really quick because I forgot about the inventory number. But there it is. It's in my drafts. So you can go back into your drafts. There, okay. James, James linked a chart so everyone can see what size it is. Oh, thank you, James. Okay, so this is my best friend. It's my best friend. That's my best friend. I'm going to show you. Some people use bags. You can buy bags. It's fine. I buy... I buy this because I use this for everything. Take your jeans down. <laughs> I don't have any clothes listed on eBay right now. So I'm going to start an inventory then for my eBay clothes. Tuck in your tag. Give it a couple of rolls. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. This keeps it just like a bag would, but it's cellophane. Keeps it nice and protected. And then I have the date. And the bin that it's going to go into, and it's A1. This is the first item in bin number one. I grab a little piece of tape. I put it in there, and then I put it into my bin. So I know what date I posted it, and I know it's A1. And then I'm going to go back into my description, and I'm going to select um, where it says size 29. I'm going to move, I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to put Amanda Adams, I'm going to put the size right there, size 29, wedding, I'm going to put A1 as my inventory number. If it's item number two, I'd put A2, A3, B1, B2, depending on what bins your... Um, Poly bags can rip in shipping. Yeah. Okay. So done. So now I I copied my the I, I removed the size 29. So my description is gone from my finger. Remember the description? So you want to go back into your messages where I store mine. And this is my description that I use and you want to press copy. And this is what I was talking about having it in my finger. So now it's back in my finger again. That's my description. And did I even add a description to this? Do you remember? Let's see if I did. Nope. So now when you're in the description, you just want to enter, enter. So it moves down, return, return. So it moves down a little bit. Put your cursor up there where it's blinking. Hit paste. And then there's your description. It's back on. All right. Everything checks out. List your item. And waiting for it to load. And turn off easy pricing. Maybe next time. And done, but not required. James, I used to box instead of fear of bags would rip. Also a good idea with clothes is to include measurements in the description. James, I don't, I never do that. I never ever do that because I just think it's so much work. Um, I just, I just tell people in the description and I'm not saying the way James is doing it is wrong or the way I'm doing it is right, but I just, I just put, I have less returns from doing it. All my measurements are in the pictures. So I just, I don't, I just, I just don't bother. Okay. Let's look at these. I'm going to do these from start to finish. Finish. These are 
Brunello Cuccinelli. They're denim. Uh, no, they're corduroy. Brunello Cuccinelli, they're corduroy, and they are size. They are size. Where's the size, you guys? They're made in Italy. And they are USA number 10. Brunello Cuccinelli. Let me look it up. Brunello, I have sold these before, so I know that they're desirable. Let's see. Brunello Cuccinelli. This is the hard part. You have to have patience. Brunello Cuccinelli. There he is. Okay. And these are corduroy. Brunello Cuccinelli corduroy pants. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So here we have some Brunello Cuccinelli, 270, 275, 150, 215, 199, 295. That's what they're listed for. Let's see what they sold for. I know that this is a very expensive brand because I've sold this brand before. And I think I think I sold a pair of pants for like $350. Okay. So this is new with tags, new without tags, 205. Here's a pair of black Palazzo pants, only for 30. These are wool flannel. We're looking for corduroy. We're looking for corduroy, casual cotton, stretch cotton, cargo, casual cotton cargo, 137. Okay, let's look. Let me just look for it real quick. Wool cargo, blue cotton. I don't see any corduroy, which is good. Usually when you don't see something, it means that it's good because these are old and they're not making them anymore, which means that somebody's probably looking for these because they can't get them anymore. Corduroy. Here we go. So these are, these sold for $121. The new with tags price was $795 corduroy cotton cashmere. Let's look and see what these are. File. Cotton cashmere. These are written in all Italian. Let's see what the, uh, it says made in Italy. And... It says 20% cotton and no, 98% cotton, 2% spandex. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Since I couldn't find them, I'm going to pick this ad. I'm going to sell one like this. And I'm going to change this all around. These are a size. What size did I say these were? These were a size USA number 10. So I'm just going to, here, I'm going to show you. Um, can you see my phone? Not so clear. Okay. Bruno Cuccinelli, charcoal. I'm going to get rid of the charcoal. And I'm going to write the word green. Cotton. I'm going to get rid of the word cashmere. I'm going to keep the words jeans, cut, and then I'm going to write. Hi, Annie. Annie says hello. And Christina, hello. Hi, Annie. Hey, Devin. Corduroy is super in right now. Yeah, and these have um, spandex in them, which is awesome. Okay, and they look to be like new without tags, to be honest with you. I, You know how you can kind of sometimes feel the sizing still in the clothes if they haven't been washed or dry cleaned? Um, I keep looking the other way because Amazon delivered a box and now there's a black lizard on my floor. There's a what? A black lizard. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> 
They bring good luck. Hi, turtle trader. Just a little black one. It'll be all right. I'll show you. I'm going to just go ahead and change everything, and then I'll show it to you when I'm done, everything that I did. And then I'll take the pictures. I am going to do this as an auction only because there isn't any. And I'm going to start these off at 100. Are you going to say rare? No. In your title? No. Mm -mm. I'm going to do, and I, I end my auctions and everybody says, Oh, always end your auctions on Sunday nights. I end my auctions at all different times. I don't, I don't do that. I mean, some people say that it's, you know, much, uh, don't allow offers that it's much better to end them on the weekends. Um, Jonathan, I am going to stand on my chair right now. Thank you. I'm going to do free shipping on this. I'm going to ship internationally. I can't turn on my immediate pay because I am putting them on at, as an auction item. And okay, I'm ready for pictures. Awesome. I, I, you what? They're, 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 they're joking with me. I hear that they're, the, the black lizards are poisonous. <laughs> oh. Rise up. No. I'm getting on the chat now. Right, he needs to go outside. So now these, because they have great labels inside, the labels, believe it or not, inside these pants are great. And I'll show them to you in a minute. I am going to do a flat lay and take pictures of these labels. And since I have them down off the refrigerator, I'm gonna just do the inseam on my board and the waist on my board as well. And so it has a 29 inch inseam and what I do is I take it from this angle so they can see I'm measuring all the way from the bottom to the top and then I button up the strap the button and then I take That's 10 out of 12 pictures. I take a close up of the button, take a close up of the fabric content. The button looks like it's bone or something. The why they're so expensive. Okay, pictures are loading. While the pictures are loading, I take the pants, wrap them up into a nice tight bundle, get my cellophane, wrap them up, Hey, Susan. Susan Arrington. Uh oh, you're getting tired? Oh, no, no, no. Susan Arrington. No, I tried to let him out the door, but he went behind my dresser. That's what it is. Does he go up by himself? No, the lizard? 
Oh, 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 I thought you were talking about your dog. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> They're all still talking. Oh, sorry about <laughs> and spiders. And I'm like, ew, no. Uh oh, I'm done. Sorry. Okay. There you have it. 10 1, A 2. Where do you come up with your numbers? It's just a system you have? Yeah. This is bin A. This is item number two that's going in it. Got it. Because the first one was um, the first one was A1. The first pair, the Amanda right. Adams were A1. So now these are A2. I put the size on the top. Bruno Cuccinelli, size 10, green cotton corduroy jean cut pants. A2 is my inventory number. Okay. Everything looks right. And list my item. So I showed you guys how to do success. Listed another one. So I showed you guys how to do barcode stuff. I showed you how to make a hanger. If you guys missed it in the beginning, this is my extended hanger. Um, you just add pieces to a regular hanger because I had a sports shirt that I was going to list. Um, I don't know. I was going to um, maybe try to list a multiple quantities. Um, I wanted to show you uh, glasses. I found these in my miscellaneous glasses that I... Um, so the name on these is, um, I need glasses to look at the name. You guys are too funny in the chat. Chrome Hearts. Chrome Hearts is the name of these glasses. Chrome Hearts. And they looked really special to me because look at oh, that. Yeah. So you sell them because with or without the prescription in them? I can do this, you guys, because I'm the daughter of an optician. I've showed you guys a million times, but oh, okay. be careful though, because you could break them. You could break them, and not everyone. You want to take them to an optical shop because if you crack the frame, you're going to be so mad. I've been doing it for years. So for me, it kind of like, okay, what did I, oh, Chrome Hearts. You guys, I have lots and lots of pairs of glasses. I have not brought them to auction because um, the last time I brought them, I didn't get a bid on them. So I kind of put them away. If anybody wants a mystery lot of glasses, I pulled these out of just a mystery lot of glasses. Um, because they looked really special. They're called Chrome Hearts. What? I guess you, you have an eye for things, huh? I knew. I, right. knew the minute, I knew the minute I looked at them because yeah. this is my business. You know, it looks like, is it like tortoise? Yeah, they're probably tortoise shell, but right. I don't care. I don't care what they're listed for. Let's look and see what they sold for. Yeah, but you knew <laughs> that's a good thing. What? Good for you. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this one because I think this is like the close, the closest that I have to what I have. This one here. So $212, I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna sell like this. I'm going to, hold on, let me get something pretty to put it on. I don't have a mannequin head. I used to have a mannequin head. I think it's down at the mini storage. Here, I'll use this.
Hi, Tamara. Oh, Turtle Trader, I have my days, but I'm doing good today. Thank you. Yeah, rise up. Donna knows a lot. I learned four new things before we were in 10 minutes into this. Where's my tape measure? What did you do with it, Rachel? <laughs> it's all my fault. You went, you went off camera, so I don't know where it went. What did I do with my tape measure? <laughs> oh, it's okay. I got it. Okay, I'm going to show this to you in one second. I'm going to put these up for auction because I don't know what they're worth. I have no idea. All I know is that they're really pretty. Tamara wants to know if you can sell them with the prescription lenses in them. You can. You should pop them out. Yeah. If you belong to Costco or if you just bring them to your local optician, Wow. These are them. They're made in Japan. But look at, that's what drew me to them was that crazy, right? Okay. Yeah. So I took nine out of 12. Okay, let me take a couple more. I feel like we should be like um, paying you for classes today. I've been learning so much. That's 12 out of 12. It's loading. You guys, 50 of you here, thank you. You guys like this? You want me to do this more often? I have lots of little trips and ticks. Ticks. Hey, look, at, look at you do it. <laughs> oh, I just spit. Trip. Wait, tricks and tricks and. Oh, I speak man. like that backwards all the time when I'm doing Help me. Yeah, tricks, tricks and, and tips. tricks. Oh, dear Lord. That was good. Okay, there's my pictures. Okay, so my title, I'm going to leave it just as it is. It says Chrome Hearts Easy Tortoise Sunglasses. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Sometimes less is more. Right? Yeah. Froggy's in the house. Jules is in the house. Hey, you guys. Donatella, charge for a class. No. But thank you, Mama G. That's really nice of you to say that, but I would never. Hi, Wheels and Deals. Okay, Shanna. oh my gosh, look. What, so on bottom already? Oh, wow. It's trending. Wow, you that's have to the, do that. That's the trending, I'm gonna keep it at that. That's it. That's you the have to do price. it. Okay, I'm gonna allow offers. Um, trending price, huh? That's great, I love it. That was a sign. Isn't that great? Yes. Okay, offers, put a reserve price, no, I don't want a reserve price, I don't want to buy it now price. Um, I'm going to put a offer of 110.00, because I really don't want to take any less than 111, but right. I want it to show that I accept offers. It's kind of a sneaky way of doing things, but... I'm just saying so. Sometimes you have to be a little bit sneaky. Okay. So, because then it becomes kind of like an auction. They'll go in and they'll be like, oh, she accepts, oh, you know, she accepts offers. And they'll put like 98 and then it will be declined. 99 will be declined. 100 will be declined. 110 will be declined. What does so, that frugal, frugal city mean by that? Huh? Here's a Frugal City. Okay. It says, here's a tip no one ever mentions. eBay will allow sellers to add rating reviews of your items they list. If you rate and add a keyword, rich, honest review, it will help bring traffic to your listing. A review. Huh. Hi, toilet girl. I don't yeah. know where you can put reviews. Toilet okay. girl. We're going to go through this really quick. Um, it's act. It's asking for the temple length, which always, always the temple length is on the temple of the the glasses, and I don't see it on this pair for some reason. Let me just take a closer look. 
Um, the name of the design of the glasses is called Filled. And there is no temple length. But look at the inside of them. Look at the inside hinge. Yeah, yeah. They're nice. Okay. okay. Well made. So I don't get that for my dollar store glasses, do you think? <laughs> What's that? I said, I'll, I'll post my dollar store glasses. Maybe I can get that. Are you live? Yes, I'm live. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Um, we have a call at seven. With the coach? Yes. Seven o'clock? Yes. So don't make plans. All right. Are you going to volleyball? Yes. All right. Have fun. Frugal, that's an interesting thing. We I, I don't know anything about it. We'll have to look at it. The model is filler. Is that what I said it was? Filler, right? Yeah. Filler. Oh, no. Filled. Filled is the model. He's in the yard. Filled is the model. Okay. I think we're ready to post the sunglasses or the eyeglasses. List your item. I did a seven day auction. Give people time. Okay. Done. Done, done, done. All right. Let's see, I'll pick one more thing. And then I'll let everybody go about their afternoon. I'm trying to get some shipping done. Let's do this. Hi, Toe. Sorry. That's okay, honey. You found money in a wallet? <laughs> oh, my New with tags. Uh-oh. Why are we finding out, people? $98. Who's Mariella? Mariella is Chessie. Hi. Hi. How come? Oh, it must have been an accident. Yeah. I, I, well, there's a few. Mariella, if you can undo that, if you can undo that, that would be great. Toilet Girl is um, Scarlet, and she's our friend. I look at invisible video, just put it. What about putting items in your store categories and custom SKUs? The old man picks. Um, I've never done that. Um, I know that you can go into your computer and do that and list things in your categories. I mean, I usually don't look in people's categories when I'm looking for items. I don't look to see like what else they have in the category. So can't undo timeout. Okay, invisible. Yeah. So, um, sorry, toilet girl. Yeah, toilet girl, just hang on, honey. It was probably just an accident. Um, yeah, so that's a very, very interesting fact. The old man's pecs that he brought up, you can definitely do um, categories and put all your pants in one category. And I've just, I never did it. I never did it even, even when I had, uh, you know, 4,000 plus items. I never, ever did it. Okay, so this is Coach Black Men's Money Clip Leather. Did you see Toad though? Let's see. Here we have it. Coach Money Clip Card Case in Leather Black, new with tags, $37.49. Um, okay, so let's see what they sold for. And let's see, sold 89 results. So here it is. It sold for $21 with free shipping. It sold for $34.51. Um, $19.50. Here it is in brown, 32. Here it is with the price tag for 40. Money clip case with black. And they have their item number here. I'm going to pick this one. Coach money clip case, nickel back. What does nickel back mean? It's exactly the same one I have. Yep. See, it's exactly the same one I have. 
And they even have the original price like I have. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to sell this one. Everything's going to be the same. I'm going to take some quick pictures. Quick measurements. It's tiring, you know, getting up and down, up and down. This is a hard job, you guys, for people that don't have the mobility, you know, of being able. That's why sometimes when I'm doing an auction and I sell things like keychains or like smalls, you know, I call them smalls. Um, it's it's good for those of you that don't have the ability to you know, be up and moving around like this because it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Hanging stuff up. And, and, I've been taking pictures and then listing at night when I'm laying down. So I'll take pictures all day and then I'll lay down and I'll just list. Yeah, see, and that's what works good for you. So I just wrapped that in cellophane. The pictures are loading. Nice. Um, um, not now. I took some nice close-up pictures of the coach. Of the I think your, your pictures are so much nicer. And I, 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 maybe of the lighting. And I don't know. Okay. Done. Uh, let's see. This must be their inventory number. F75459. I'm going to get rid of that. Because I don't need that. And it's also recommended that you don't put any slashes, dashes, periods, or um, emojis. So I'm going to get rid of. Really? Yes. It's recommended not to. So you wouldn't put like in the title something slash something? You're saying not to do that? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's not good to put slashes, dashes. It it. Uh, messes with the algorithm. Good to know. Yeah. Yay, toilet girl's back. Hey, toilet girl. Mermaid's in the house. Hey, mermaid girl. Katap is in the house. Hey, you guys. What was the price on that? Do you remember? Oh, it ranged. From thirty-four down to twenty-one. It's trending. It's trending at thirty-one dollars. There you go. So it's trending at thirty-one. I'm going to uh, allow offers, okay. and I'm going to allow an offer of thirty if they want it. What? Um, <laughs> what is everybody doing? Putting numbers? They're bidding on it. <laughs> Demuchi, <laughs> Mama G, forty. Immediate pay done. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, free shipping. Yeah, it's really nice. That's awesome. Free to the buyer done. And there we have it. List your item. So how many items did we list? It's been an hour and 43 minutes. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We listed eight items. And that's with me stopping and explaining a lot. So if I didn't stop and explain a lot, I could do probably double that. True. Right? Yeah. And you have a really good setup. Yeah, you guys want to see one more? Are you guys done? Let me see if I have something else in here that. Yeah. 
Can we limit how long we go to accept an offer? I think offers expire, right? Offers expire after 48 hours. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a multiple, a multiple listing. I have two of these. Same size. Um, let's look it up. Abraham, hi. Hi, Abraham. Standard James purse size four white T. Okay. So let's look and see what we got here. See a lot of long sleeved. Um, don't see many. Let me see. I think I have to put men's in the title. Let's look for men's. Okay. Okay. Here we have standard T size two. This one is men's coral. I have white. Okay. Let's go to solds. Let's go to solds and see what they sold for. These have a huge following. Okay. Here we have it. This is what I have. I have a James Purse standard men's t-shirt size four white made in the USA cotton. He listed it for $38 plus $8 shipping and he took a best offer. So I'm going to pick that one and I'm going to sell one like this. And I'm going to get rid of his inventory number. T-shirt size four, white, made in USA, cotton. That's all I need. It's pre-owned. It's a size four. It's short-sleeved. It's V-neck. The category is under men's accessories. The description, I'm going to hit enter, enter, and I'm going to put what's in my finger, which is my description. Whoops. Which is my description. And then... Um, let's see, auction, we want to do uh, buy it now, and the trending price on these are $33 on these t-shirts, so I'm going to accept, allow offers of $30, because I'm fine with that, and I'm hoping somebody will buy both of them, and then... Right here where it says quantity, you want to change that one. To two. So I have two of them. Okay. And I don't, I don't worry about immediate pay is on and ship internationally is on the shipping cost these are going to weigh less than a pound i'm going to do free for buyer done and now we're going to go up to the pictures camera i um i was going to say something i was going to say something what was said, i don't worry about and then you stopped I don't worry about what? And then you stopped. So I don't know. Um, I don't worry about, what don't I worry about? I don't know. I was going to say something. Oh, I know. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I don't worry about wrinkles. Yeah. I steam clean everything with a steamer to get the wrinkles out. I don't do that anymore. Um, I stopped, when I say I don't do that anymore, I stopped doing that way before I started selling my stuff 
um, online on YouTube at auction. I just stopped. I just stopped steaming stuff. It was just way too much. People are going to buy it if it's wrinkled or not. Yeah. If they like the brand, they like the color, it's their size, whether it's wrinkled or not. And a lot of people may disagree with me, but... Um, no, because I, I can't steam or iron anything and they buy it anyway, so... See, James says, I do wrinkle everything. It makes a huge difference on Poshmark. I thought it did too, James. Mm -hmm. but yeah, Posh is different. But and them and their $7.99 shipping is really starting to annoy me. Yeah, I, I just don't. I also don't use a steamer. Well, listen, James, what do you mean you cheat? How do you cheat? He must hang them in the shower. <laughs> oh, he uses the downy wrinkle release spray. What's that? And that's just a plain white shirt, but it's a name brand, huh? Yep. Wow. And I have probably about 10 of these. Nice. I have gray. I have white. I got these out of that mansion. Um, and I've got more to go and pick up. I sold a bunch of this stuff. I sold a bunch of the Eileen Fisher stuff. Um. And some of these like really expensive clothes that I, I recognize the name of or things. I used to get these all the time. See, around here, and Rachel, you too, though, where you are, there's some, I mean, you know, there's some places that have some really high-end stuff, but. Yeah, they do. Expensive. Well, that's the problem. I mean, you have to put out to source some of it and you know but they have a lot out there <laughs> okay so so this is So this is inventory number A3. I um I don't ship out my expensive clothes in in these cellophanes like this. I will take some of like like a two hundred dollar pair of pants or like an expensive t shirt. Um, so this is my A3. Um, I use I use these like for the inventory. But when I sell a two hundred dollar pair of pants, I'll open it up. I'll put tissue in the middle of it. I'll fold it up and then fold it up again. Like when you buy clothes at an expensive store, and then you know I wrap it really, really nice, and then I rewrap it in the cellophane. Like I don't, I don't send that. That's you know kind of like me just roughly blah 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 just to get it passed. You know. Right. Um, so that was a quantity listing, you guys. That's quantity. So list your item. They're talking about something called um, uh, fliptools.com. Yeah. There's so many new, um, um, like, I know Courtney uses um, cross-posting cross mm -hmm. sites from when I used to sell on eBay. I'm not up on them all. I've been doing the list perfectly, but honestly, I'm limited to 20 a month and it's just not enough for me. And it's like a dollar per item per month. And so I don't know that I'm going to do that anymore. Thank you, Misha. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that you appreciate this. Um, James says Cell Hound is another one. I'm not familiar with those. Um, Fern Darling says I steam and de-wrinkle everything. 
I don't. <laughs> so I sold this tie. I sold this tie and it was returned to me. Why? It's pretty. It's a, a Hermes. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, he said that it did not. I sold it for a hundred dollars. He said that it did not match his suit. So I waited and I wanted to make sure that maybe he didn't wear it to a wedding. Mm -hmm. but it's has it's brand new without tags. It's never been creased and it did not smell like alcohol. I mean, um, cologne. So I believe him that he didn't. I was I was like ready to like charge forward, like and call eBay and be like, right. you know, he wore this. But um, yeah. So. Uh, so this was a while ago. So I think I'll I'll do this next. I'll do this tie for the next one, and I think we might stop after that. I'll take some questions. Um, if there's anybody that has questions, um, but I hope you guys learned some things. Like I said, I'm not saying what I do is right. It's just the way I do it, and it's always just worked for me. James says he uses this perfectly cross posts to five sites, but you guys are paying more for that now, right? Than the 20, it's like double the amount of money. Yeah. Any questions, huh? I'm looking under solds for one that may be similar. This one is 100% silk. This one sold for $89. Hi, Amber. This one sold for $81. Okay. So I'm going to choose the one that sold for $88. But James, I am paying like 30 bucks a month and it only gives me 20 listings. Ooh, Al Crochet says, hi, beautiful. To Rachel and Donna. Hi, honey. Okay, so let's see. I'm just going to put men's authentic or mez Paris silk tie made in France. That's it. That's all I'm putting in the title. That's all I'm putting in the title. The measurements, let's check. 60, they have theirs at 64 inches. Let's see if I have to change that. This is a beautiful tie. So the, mine measures, mine measures 58. So I'm gonna change it. Always wanna make sure that the measurements are right when you're copying other people's, um, when you're copying other people's listings, you guys, please remember to do that. Um, let's see, style, 100% silk. It says animal print. Mine is not animal print. Mine, I'm going to call novelty. Or would you call that floral? Would you call that floral or novelty? Mm. Uh, maybe more novelty than floral. I don't know. It's pretty. So it's um, animal print, art deco, mm. camouflage, crest floral, geometric. Um, Paisley, no sailboat, solid square. James says floral Paisley. Floral Paisley doesn't really have Paisley on it. It doesn't really have Paisley on it. Um, <laughs> Invisible Bither says I call it wallpaper. <laughs> is it, I call it wallpaper. Is it geometric? <laughs> Uh, patchwork, plaids and checks, polka dots, sailboats, solid, square, striped. Um, oh, I just got one of those. Your PayPal account has been compromised. I get it all the time. Don't click on those links, you guys. Please don't ever click on them. Okay, come on. I need I need something. What can Someone I do? Someone says botanical, floral, Asian inspired. Asian? I guess, I guess, I mean, I would go with Art Deco. And now I would go floral because it's more floral than Art Deco. Oh, look what's inside. Who said inside. Asian inspired? 
Ah, Michelle the Mermaid. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. She's dun, the dun, winner. Dun. What is that? That's not Asian though. What is that? I don't know. I just found that inside. It's like a Viking. Very interesting. It's a Viking, isn't it? What do you think, guys? Um, hmm. With Hermes, don't overthink it. It'll sell anyways. <laughs> Warrior floral. Not a Viking. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. There's a chicken in it. Oh, yeah. Art deco -y. Yep. I think it's Art Deco. Yeah. I think? I'm going to pick Art Deco or Novelty. I'm going to stay not. I'm going to keep. I'm going to pick Novelty. It's definitely Novelty. And the color is turquoise. Or should I say blue? I think I'll say blue because blue will be more of a broad. People might look at it as like baby blue. Some people might look at it as turquoise. If I say right. turquoise, I'm kind of limiting myself. It's true. So what did I say the length was? Do you remember? Oh, my goodness. I don't. 57 to 61. Okay. It is 50. It's 59. So it's 57 to 61. All right. That's the length. The fabric is silk, the width, the width on it is when you measure, the, when they want to know the width on a tie, this is where you need to measure it from here to here, three and a half inches. That's the width of the tie, three and a half inches. Um, and so let's see, 3.5. And okay, that's everything. So we got that done. Let's put the description in. Dun, 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 dun. Paste done. It's I'm gonna do it as a buy it now. The trending pipe price is forty six dollars. I'm gonna put a hundred. I'm gonna put a hundred because I already sold it for a hundred and I'm going to put, I allow, I accept offers for 80 or more because I want to sell it. Quantity one and <clears throat> buyer does not pay free shipping to the buyer. That's done. Okay. And we are going to take some pictures of this and probably start to wrap it up. So let's see. I think I will do this and this and this and this. just to make it a little bit different than everybody else's ties. And I'm gonna take it at a different angle. Oh, I just lost it. My, my, um, my app just closed. Let's hopefully, okay. It was saved. See it? And authentic without the pictures, but at least all my work was saved. That happens sometimes. It happens. 
How many things did you get um, listed today? Me? Yeah. Oh, I didn't really get a chance to count, but probably more than 10. Oh, that's good. If I could do 10 a day, yeah. I would be really happy. Yeah. But I just don't always have time. See, now I didn't do my shipping from last night. And I did promise Love Hollis that I would send out her her Disney lot that she so patiently has been waiting for me to invoice her on and send out. Um, I probably could still use it for the mailman. Well, your mailman comes late then, huh? My mailman is phenomenal. My mailman does the entire route and then it comes with an empty truck. Oh, he knows your, your thing. Okay. Yeah. Because I have so many packages that go out every day. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. The last time I did the auction, I think I had like close to 40 packages and uh, usually I have this little lady who comes. Well, she knew and she sent some man to come pick them up. <laughs> He goes, do you do this every day to her? I said, no, first time. <laughs> but I couldn't take them all to the post office, so it's good that you can have them pick up. Oh, no, I have, I, I, I couldn't. Way too many packages. I have, you know, 35, 40 packages a day leave this house. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. I couldn't log them. I have. I have loved them. If it's really like expensive or important, I'll take it myself, but most I haven't had a problem yet. So there's some on the refrigerator and then there's some on the whiteboard. It gives a nice, my mailman is fantastic, but when he's on vacation, I always have problems with the others covering his route. Let's pictures come out beautiful. That's a nice tie, nice colors. And I love it on the stainless. Yeah. So pretty, right? Okay, done. Done and done. I got all the measurements are on. I got my buy it now price, list your item. Success. We are done. Awesome. That's it, you guys. Does anybody have any questions before I go down? Before I turn I um I sign off. Rachel, thank you so much for coming in and helping me. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to do that. Um, Invisible Biddle says, I appreciate your regular mailman and mailwoman. We love our customers. I always take care of my mailman. Did you explain the stainless steel background? Did you explain? Okay, so this is um, this is actually my refrigerator. This is like my house. This is my kitchen. This is my refrigerator. <laughs> and um, I love I love taking pictures on the stainless steel. Um, when my studio is done, I am going to buy a sheet of stainless steel and mount it to the wall because I love the way pictures come out on stainless steel. I know that it is highly recommended to use white backgrounds and I agree white backgrounds are beautiful, but I really like my stainless steel. I think it, um, it makes for beautiful pictures and I never had any problems with my pictures being, um, picked up on the algorithm because I used my stainless steel. Thank so you have you always taking the pictures in the kitchen with that lighting? Yeah. Yeah. Getting always. the lighting the, the right. Yeah. Always. Your pictures always. look great. Set it all up. Break it all down. Kids are used to it. Oh, thanks, Turtle Trader. Thanks, Rise Up. White background is what gets you included in Google search results for eBay listings. Yep. But there's, there's James, I, you know, I argue that point because there's lots of um, pictures that don't have white backgrounds that if you search Google, they will come up like lots and lots of pictures. 
So that's why it's recommended. Without it, you do not include, you're not included in the Google search. Interesting. Yeah. That's definitely what I heard. But like I said, don't take all my advice. This is how I've done things for years. Um, just what they say. I know. It's just what they say. It's like all these conspiracy theories, you guys. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to believe and what not to believe. I mean, I know if you go to Google and you just, you know, type into your Google search, you know, I go into my Safari um, right now and I type in, uh, let's see, blue pants, let's say, for example. Um, this is what comes up. So you got white with the mm -hmm. shadow. You got white in a room. Let's go to Google Images, right? Blue pants. You got a guy in a parking lot. You got a woman walking. Um, here's a white one. There's another white one. There's a kind of white one. There's an all white, all white. There's a dark brown one. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And this is... Um, these sites are, they're all different sites um, that are showing these, like selling sites. So I, I don't know, James. I don't know um, any advice on how to get someone to buy me a cheeseburger. I was waiting for you to say it. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, I love outside pictures. You saw that just now. I mean, there's... Yeah eBay also pays for advertising listings. Yes, you can promote your listings. And I usually promote my listings for one point. I usually go back in after it's listed and I will promote my listings and I usually do it for 1.1%. That's it, just 1.1. Um, it just gets you in there and you can, um, it just gets your, your listing will show up twice. It will show up in the promoted listing and then wherever you fall down in the tier of how many people have that listing and where you are in the algorithm. Does anyone use Sellhound to list? Lots of people do, Susan. I know nothing about it, nothing. Too expensive for my blood, Susan, but Cellhound works amazing. Yeah, T uses it. She does use. Is it Cellhound, James, that she uses, or is it um, List Perfectly? I think it's List Perfectly. I'm not sure 100%. Um, oh, Cellhound? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and list perfectly. She uses both. Okay. I'm surprised she's not on right now. She must be like just busy. I know she's listing like crazy. Um, both of us kind of talked about vamping up our, um, our stores for a third quarter and trying to make time to list. Um, just kind of like my really expensive stuff that I have. Um, my, you know, super, super expensive stuff. Rachel, cute top. I just noticed it, says Michelle. Oh, thanks. It is a cute top. It's adorable. Okay, so we are going to be on T's channel tonight. Did she put the um, the stream up for, for it yet? Did anybody notice? If the stream is up for T, let's say. Nope, she hasn't put it up yet. And I don't know if we've decided what time we're going on. I don't know if it's going to be 8 or 9 o'clock. I have no idea. Or even if we are going on, um, I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't spoken to her all day today. I kind of got up this morning, did a couple of errands, and then decided to do this and go live. So here we are, 2 hours and 13 minutes. I said I'd do it for an hour. She said last night, 8 o'clock. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Michael Vitter. There you go. Thank you for putting that up. I appreciate it. It works. Yes. 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 He keeps saying Rachel. <laughs> he wants a he wants a hamburger. It works. Oh. That you have to spend a bunch uh, to buy listings from them. It does work great. You snap a few pictures and they generate the listing for you. And you tell them how you want the listing done, James. Like you tell them I want free shipping and like, do they like 
know I mean, all that? Like, how do right. they know all, like, how do they know, like, like, you have to take pictures of the measurements of the tie and. Yeah, you set all that up. Ah. Hmm. Huh. I have to look at it. They create the title and such. Can you answer Pat Doozy? Keep saying your name. I don't know what he wants. He wants a cheeseburger. Oh, a cheeseburger. What are we doing? What are, those, what are those behind you? Are those those Pompco? Popco? No, these are the next version that I was going to be selling. Um, you know, the Atari controllers with the 20 games. This is um, Activision. Same uh -huh. theory, but different games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We scheduled it for next week. Yep. So I got a bunch of those, a bunch of... Okay, 50th anniversary, Scooby Doo's, um, Fortnite toys, bunch of stuff. Awesome. Yes, Petsies, I'm gonna have to order to eat now. I know, I need to eat too. Look at it, it's 422 in the afternoon and I haven't eaten anything. All right, you guys, well, thanks for coming in Hi. to my little, my little um, eBay tutorial on how to, how to list and um, let me know if you want me to do more of these. I'll be happy to go on maybe once a week or so and, and do more of these. Um, thank you, Toilet Girl. I will. Thanks, Pat D's. Hubby fixed her a sandwich. Oh, you're lucky, Susan. <laughs> you're a lucky girl. My husband is finishing up the fence in the backyard. Oh, thanks, Susan. A question about previous auction. Okay, Gail, shoot. Yes. Yes, Don helped me last. Oh, list and everything. She has a helper. What? Pat Dees is winking at you, Rachel. Wink, 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 wink. Sorry. I look like I had a filter on. <laughs> All right. We're waiting for Gail's question, I guess. Gail, you could also email me if you want or call me if you have a question about a previous auction. Thanks. Oh, I won an auction on September 3rd from Frenchie, but haven't heard from her. I paid on the 14th and I've emailed her numerous times. I will reach out to her, honey. I will reach out to her and let her know. Um, I know that she has been, um, and I don't know if she wants me to say this live, but she's had some um, personal things going on. So that's, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Um, nothing bad, nothing bad, you guys. But I know that uh, life was a little bit challenging. Maybe it was overlooked. I know I make that mistake also, but I'll reach out to her. I'll reach out to her right now. And Nance P, I will find that Wilson leather jacket for you. And love, if you're still here, I am going to get your Disney plush out. Um, Jason, nice. package. Okay. Rachel, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me do more of these. And I will see you tonight on T's channel if we decide to go on. I don't, still don't know. But um, thanks. I appreciate you all coming in. And I am going to leave everybody with this one. Mm -hmm.